What's up, guys? Welcome to VHB Business. Okay, so yesterday I said that I had two tech topics, um, uh, and I did I did answer one of them in the head video I did, but I will go back over that again and talk about it a little bit more. But if not, well, if not tomorrow, sometime later this week. Um, I actually have a decent amount of stuff scheduled for this week. I might even not put it all out. I might just wait to roll over until next week. I guess that remains to be seen on uh, whether I'm going to actually do that or not yet. Uh, but anyway, so today's topic is about uh, your oil light. Um, when your oil light starts to flicker in and out and fade in and out, that's, that's a horrible sign of low oil pressure. And uh, generally speaking, I've only ever seen that happen when the um, oil pump is starting to fail. Um, okay, so with that being said, if you're continuing to drive when you got that flickering ass light indicating you have low oil pressure, you are literally driving on a, a time bomb. Um, it's gonna eventually you're gonna you know spin a bearing, toss a rod. I know I know personally a guy I built a single cam for who ignored his light when it was on and literally chucked a rod through the block all the way through it <laughs> on a single cam. All right, so. Um, Usually when you have uh, that light, that's not something you want to ignore. Now, whether it's necessarily your oil pump or not, um, it's it's possible that it's not. But 9 out of 10 times it is. All right? Uh, so, what also could cause the oil pressure? Uh, maybe you had your fucking, your pickup tube has got a big old chunk of shit in it randomly. And that's causing blockage, so the pressure's low. Um, or, you could have dented your oil pan recently. And... A big ass fucking dent because I've used plenty of dented oil pans and never had a light come off from it. But you'd have to have a big ass fucking dent in your pan to cause low oil pressure, um, or maybe you put a hole in it and you drain the oil out. <laughs> but um, anyway, so what I would do, like if if you haven't hit a big ass fucking curb or some shit recently to, to make you think that you've uh, dented your oil pan horribly, or you can't just get down there and look and see it real bad real quick, then the chances are it's oil pump, right? Um, so, and the oil pump is the main reason why I don't even put fucking, that's the main reason why I don't put timing covers on anymore, because timing covers, man, they're a pain in the ass to get around, and, uh, when they're in the car, and, uh, it's just, you know, one more step of labor you gotta take. So, if you're gonna do a fresh build, uh, for one, get a new oil pump, it's worth, it's not worth the hassle of having to go back and change that after you've already put a fresh engine in the car. And, um, and two, if you decide not to do that, you decide to go with the old oil pump, then for sure don't put the fucking timing cover on. Because there's a good chance that not long after you start that shit, you're going to get that fucking fading light. Um, yeah, so I guess you could, uh, drop the pan and check your pickup, uh, and swap, slap the pan back on. Or, you know, take a, maybe take a rubber mallet and hammer out any dents that you may have. I guess that would be a quick check, you know. Uh, you lose your oil. Well, I guess you don't necessarily have to. You can always catch it and put it back. <coughs> but like I said, I just I know a lot of times that when you get that that oil pressure light or that indicator that it's fading out and that your pump is going bad, and don't sit on that, guys. Uh, especially if you don't if you're not in a haunted town like I am, sitting in the middle of nowhere, where you can't just get another haunted engine. Uh, you don't want to ignore it because you're gonna blow your shit up. All right, you know, and I said this is going to be quick, as you know, quick topics, but frequently asked question. So here it is getting put out. All right, guys. Um, social media shit is in the description below. Just in case you guys want to hit me up uh, personally, inbox me there, have any questions for me, uh, comment anything that you'd want to see or hear talked about in the comments below. Um, and peace. Thanks for watching.